Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go. This is Contenders London, live on MMA TV. Next up, we have a middleweight contest of professional MMA scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Your referee is Mr. Sam Amidi. Let me introduce your fighters. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner, representing Titan fighter Jim. It is the marvellous Matt Finley. And now fighting out of the blue corner, representing Nova MMA. Stephen Hill! Three five minute rounds. And you can cut the tension in here with a knife as they walk towards each other, Dean. This is going to go off middleweight malice. Matt Finley, Stephen Hill here at Contenders 31 London. And do not blink, do not go anywhere. Make sure you are strapped in, locked and loaded for this middleweight fight. Three five minute rounds to determine who is the better man in there this evening. Steve Hill, 3-0 as a pro. Matt Finley, 3-1, but says he's fought much better calibre of competition and trains with much higher level. We're going to find out. That is the beauty of fight sports. They can talk all they want, but then you have to back it up in this cage here, in this contender's cage at Crystal Palace National Sports Centre. This evening, we are underway, Dean. And Steve with the great boxing as well. He's got excellent boxing skills. Boxed a lot when he was a young kid. So he's definitely got the goods to deliver in the stand-up game. And you see again, we've got a South Paul versus Orthodox matchup. Look for Finley to throw some power shots from the South Paul with a big left hand and a big left kick. Feeling his way in, looking to jab over Hill's lead hand, Orthodox lead hand. Matt's showing the uppercut as well to deter the level change from Steve. Matt's got a nice left hook as well. He's got some good takedown defense as well, and he's, he's an experienced MMA fighter, so it is a tough test for Steve. Yeah, Matt says his goal is to be the best middleweight in the country. And that starts tonight here with a win over Steve Hill. Steve briefly just touched Matt with the right hand, but go. there's the shot. Stuffed from Finley. That's a big plus in his column early doors as Steve Hill shoots for the takedown. Now he's landing some nice knees, though, to Finley's inner thigh. These are all to soften up Matt as well and to look for an avenue to get the fight down to the ground. He's start thinking about pummeling for double underhooks here, though. At the present is 50-50 with a whizzer from Matt, but Steve needs to start thinking about gaining some separation to funnel that left arm in. Oh, he doesn't even need it. He gets the takedown, muscles Matt down to the ground, and this is where Steve flourishes, Mark. Yeah, this is definitely not where Matt Finney wants to be. Someone with some serious BJJ pedigree behind them in Steve Hill. Yeah, he's an outstanding Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt and he competes a hell of a lot in the Gi's. He's very known throughout the no-gi circuit and the Gi circuit for being exceptionally good at his weight. Hill again, sucking Finley out and down to the floor. And now looking to land these elbows from top position, Dean. This He's got that left knee in between the leg of Matt as well. That's to force the hips away from his opponent to open up the strikes or the side control here. Oh, great guard retention from Matt though. And that's the experience being shown from Matt Finley. Good work indeed from Matt Finley. You see Ashley Grimshaw in Matt's corner. Matt fighting out of Titan fighter Jim, story Jim. At the moment he's on the bottom underneath Steve Hill. And we said about Matt fighting Steve's uh, coach Alex, but he's come a long way in seven years as well. He's almost a different fighter. You know, he's, he's really, really worked on the takedown defense and the strikes as well. Steve now in a dominant position. He's got a nice hook of the leg, trapping Matt up against the cage. And this is what Steve said he would do. He'd bring the pressure. He says he's going to break. And that's exactly what he's trying to do at the moment. Make Matt Finley break in there. He's looking to snake that arm under the chin of Finley. 
And that's the thing, there's no pressure like top pressure, and Steve is feeling that right now. When you grapple with the guy and you can feel that you can manipulate him on the ground, it's such a lovely feeling. It's almost like taking a fish out of water, and we're seeing that from Steve here, completely dominate from the top position. And he's controlling the left leg of Matt very well. He's almost got half a hook in, but he'll weave and grapevine his leg in to eliminate the ability for Matt to use his hips to escape. Remember, three wins by rear naked choke. That is the submission of choice for Stephen Hill as he looks to snake that arm under the chin. Now back to dominant top position as he lands a heavy elbow. I feel he's done a good job of getting back to full guard here. Let's it go in favor, potentially kicking off the hips here. But he's got to be careful not to let Steve into a more dominant position where he can land some more damaging ground and pound. And we're seeing just that here. Steve Hill is all over Matt Finley here. Exactly as he promised he would be. Steve controlling now the left arm of Matt Finley just to get one arm out of the situation to block the punches. He might look to go straight to Mount here now. If he can posture up in this position, we could see a finish. Matt has got to start thinking about escapes here. He gives up the back here. Very dangerous against a calibre such as high as Stephen Hill. Nice elbows from Steve. Calculated. This ways. could be the beginning of the end here, Mark. This is Big heavy, elbows. Heavy, heavy elbows and hammer fists from Steve Hill. What a credit to Matt. Back to his feet, though. Steve forced to take the back now. That looked like it could have been finished, Mark. Yeah, it looked very close indeed. Steve Hill calculating and cruel with those elbows and that ground and pound. But to Matt Finley's great credit, as you say, Dean, he's made his way back to his feet. Now, though, Hill's looking to get him back down to floor, and he has indeed. And again, 10 seconds for Finley to survive this round. And even if he does survive this round now, he's tasting what it's like to have such a dominant BJJ fighter on your back. Coupled that with his striking skills on the feet here, and you can see, look at that. If you took a picture there, Steven turn around, one finger up, Matt's still on the floor. That says the story of the first round. Yeah, Matt Finley looked tired at the end of that first round. Stephen Hill looked like he'd barely broken a sweat. Very, very confident. And so he should be after that first round. As we look at the replays here, once he got Finley to the ground, he was all over Matt Finley and really, really calm and calculated with the way that he was dropping the, the pressure from the top team, the elbows and the ground and pound. It wasn't just wild and, and like flurries. He was really thinking about where he was going to land it. He doesn't want to give Matt any opportunity to escape. We see here from the elbows from the top position, Steve is still maintaining control of his, the fighter in front of him. He's still looking to stay in the top position whilst landing those damaging elbows. Look at them hammering down on his head. That was dangerously close to being stopped. Yeah, some immediately you see there having a really close look because he landed three or four in a row. Stephen Hill has got to be confident going into the second round. Bouncing up on his toes, Matt Finley taking big, deep gulps of air. He has got a narrative to change and a fight to turn around here in this second round. He said, I train with the sort of people that are loads better than Steve Hill, pointing out. Modestus Bacalfitis, obviously in the UFC. Darren Stewart, also in the UFC. These are the sort of guys that he trains with. And you can see that from the when he's in a bad position, like he's getting elbowed or he's getting his back taken, he fights out of it, does Matt Finley. He doesn't accept it and accept defeat. And I think that's a credit to his training partners as well as his progression over the last seven years. But he's got to go for broke here, Mark. He's got to really land something decisive. He's got to make Steve respect the power. But the problem is, if he obviously if he rushes forward, he's going to walk straight into another takedown, isn't he? He's got to find a way through. He's got to throw those, those uh, anti-grappling techniques, the uppercuts, yeah. the knees, just to deter the double leg shot for fear of running into those. Of course, in the pro rule set, you can knee to the head. So it's a viable option when somebody shoots a double leg. Finney's fighting orthodox now. He's sticking his head out as well with his hands down. Yeah. He's looking to just give Hill a different look. He's also giving Hill the, the space that he needs. He wants to be close. And by leaning your head closer to your opponent, you make yourself closer to your opponent. Also, it enables you to be more off balance if they were pull, to pull on your head. Nice calf kick from Steve. He's landed a few of those as well. There we go, the shot. There's the knee, beautiful. There's, oh. See, there's the key. The knee enabled that separation, and there was a nice break in the action where Matt Finley filled that void with the strike. That's exactly what he needs to do. Yeah, will that give him some confidence then? He stops the takedown and lands a knee. He's got to get his back off the cage. Beautiful work. 
But Steve as well, a, a consummate professional. With, with, I mean, with only three fights to his name, he's never lost in amateur and pro. He really does fight light years ahead of his experience. And he caught the leg there briefly and now pushes Finley back onto the cage. This is Steve Hill's world. And he's making Matt Finley live in it at the moment. I think he's got to dig that underhook, that right underhook, and try and hike his opponent up and get separation here. Can't afford to be complacent and sit up against the cage too long. The fear of Steve looking for the double underhooks will drop him down for a leg. Put the grimace in here as Matt Finney looks to fight off this takedown. Breaking the action here. Nice and nice foot stomps from Steve. I love a foot stomp. So old school, so underrated. Love to see him thrown. And there's a knee as well. Goes to the head, does Steve. Finney fought him off then, avoided the takedown. He's got to get his back off the cage though here. He needs to circle back into the centre, doesn't he? Nice, he's jabbing his way out, beautiful work. <laughs> Steve with some nice head work, nice Ooh. left hook straight to the chin from Steve. There's that boxing pedigree of Steve Hill. When I asked Steve about being undefeated and not knowing how to lose, he said, I've lost loads of times as a boxer in BJJ competitions. I know how to lose, but it makes me a better fighter. Oh, there's a double leg takedown attempt here from, from Matt. And that's what he needs as well. He needs to start throwing some things in the mix for Steve. Some unorthodox strikes. Nice. The low kicks as well, I would have abandoned in favor of that. I and mean, then Steve changed level perfect timing now, ground the pound. And Matt's now, covering up. The storm that Steve Hill is threatening to blow all the way through Matt Finley here. Can feel those punches through the floor from the cage. They are very heavy punches through these four ounce gloves. Big elbows as well here. Look Referee at, looking on Stephen Hill, pouring on the pressure and it's all over. Stephen Hill, victorious here at Contenders London. The bad blood before the fight. We had the opportunity to find out who was the better man in the cage, the beauty of fight sports. And Steve Hill has come in and put on an absolute clinic here. He made Matt Finley fight the fight that he wanted to fight. He brought him into Steve Hill's world and then he made him lose. What springs to mind is Ivan Drago when he says, I must break you. It's exactly what Steve did. He broke Finley down, took him down to the ground, didn't force a finish, didn't give him up the position. And he and also like he smelt the blood with those elbows. You know, he recognized he could slam those elbows in and look for the finish. I think Finley starts to fatigue as well. You can see here from the replay, he almost accepts himself on his back and he doesn't have the ex explosive get up as he did earlier on in the fight. These were such heavy shots, weren't they, from the top, Dean? Steven again with the heavy pressure and he even comes up to his feet ever so slightly for more, for more gravitational pressure there. Super, super impressive win from Steve Hill. A real statement there against Matt Finley. Very, very... Impressive stuff from Stephen Hill. Well, now he's 4-0 and as a middleweight and will look to move on. He said he wants to fight for the middleweight title on contenders. And also, he said I wouldn't rule out fighting for the worldweight gold either. He's an ambitious guy and with wins like that, Dean, that could take him to that sort of place. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after 3 minutes and 35 seconds, and round number two, your referee stops the contest. Your winner by a TKO in the blue corner, Stephen!